Ladies and lads, for the very first time, the WRX is down and we have to tow it. But let me show you what the problem is. Key in the ignition, and then battery is fine, everything is coming to life, but nothing. See? Absolutely nothing. So it has been about a year since the last time I was here. And of course, the only reason for me to come back here is if my car is broken, which is the case. So, let's find out what exactly happened. Oh, I see it over there. Ready, apparently. Yes, sir. All right. So here she is. I gotta explain that one later on, though. Not for now. Let me make sure everything is okay. Did they put back the? Yep. Everything seems okay-ish. Why is there condensation in this one? Okay. Alright. Uh, I don't know if you heard it. I had the camera rolling, I don't know if it was recording. But basically what happened is that there was a cell in the battery that wasn't working properly. At the beginning I thought it was the alternator, but no, it was the battery. Even though the battery was still, you know, locking and locking when it was turning the, uh, when I was turning the key on ignition, it was still working fine, so I thought it was the alternator. But no, it was the battery indeed. Now, they replaced it. But unfortunately, I had to pay for my own pocket. Uh, if you guys don't remember, I don't think you do, but this is where I bought this car. And I took the the warranty. I took the warranty with it, and a lot of stuff was included in the warranty. Unfortunately, the battery was not one part of it, so I had to pay for my pocket. Right now, I need to go. I have some stuff to do. I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow. So yeah guys, that was the issue, the cell in the battery didn't recharge, well it wouldn't allow the recharge, so yeah, car wouldn't start. Now I don't know if the reason why that happened was because I left the car sitting for a week, like exactly a week, I didn't touch the car, I wasn't driving it, so I don't know if that's one of the uh, reasons why it happened, but well, it is what it is. Car is fixed now. Everything is doing uh, fine. And yeah, this winter is uh, is a bit weird. Right now, you wouldn't think it's winter just by looking at the roads. It does not feel like it. Yeah, it's cold. It snowed here and there, but uh, not as much as I thought. And that is not good for me because you know I like to have some fun on the. Uh, the parking lots and stuff so yeah this beginning of the year for me was uh, well it is very challenging I had to put on hold a lot of my projects that means car parts for this one also the, uh, the clothing brand that is on hold right now and yeah it's tough it is tough the good
good side about it though is that it kind of forced me to spend some more time in uh, in prayer and you know meditating reading the bible well reading the bible portion i still need a lot of work on that but praying that's for sure i prayed way more than before uh, and you can get some uh, those good habits you know so that's a plus sorry if there is a glare I am doing this in the morning because right now I'm going to buy my favorite fish. I'm going to show you that in a second. But uh, talking about cars, this problem with the battery, that was basically the second biggest issue I had since I bought the car a year ago. Since I bought the car, I basically only had uh, three, well, I don't really count it as three problems, like two, really. The first one was, if you remember, was the uh, auto sensor that was fixed pretty pretty fast. The second, which I don't really count, was the background for the entertainment system and for the lights inside. That was when I was installing the screen, and I don't know if that was my fault. Oh, thanks to this truck, is uh, just gonna use it as a shadow. Uh, I don't know if it was my fault or the previous owner when it was installed and stuff he oh. not going anywhere shadow so yeah i don't know if it was my fault or the previous owner but yeah that was the second issue that i don't really count the third one was well the battery and that was it apart from that those were the only issues that i had this, with this car Nothing engine related, nothing suspension related, uh, no issue with the tires, nothing crazy like that, which I'm super thankful. This guy has been treating me very well and hopefully I've treated it well in return as well. Well, I can't have to. Uh, so yeah, I still have one thing that I'm kind of worried about. I'm going to show you that in a second, but first... I am going around now to buy my favorite fish. You know, in my life, in all these years, uh, I don't really eat fish that much. I only liked two. The first one I don't know the name, and the second one is the one that we're going to buy right now. All right. Obviously, I'm going to leave you guys here. Uh, oh yeah, something also, you remember yesterday when I was picking up the car, I still have a hard time filming with people. Like, you have to remember, when you do this YouTube thing, sometimes you have to make people aware that you're filming, right? And even then, I asked yesterday to the guys, and even then, sometimes I lose myself in, okay, where do I put the camera, you know? And yeah, I'm way too self-conscious, way too self-conscious. And it comes with practice, need that more. The people I know, it's kind of easy, but people I don't know still need uh, still have a little work to do. All right, see you guys uh, in a few seconds. For me, it's gonna take like five, 10 minutes, but for you, a few seconds, I'll be right back. Ladies and lads, if for some reason you do not like fish, let me show you something that is, well, try this one. Can you read this? Halibut's color. I don't know if there's another name for this, but uh, this fish is so good. You can cook it however you want it, but it is extremely soft and it is delicious. If you don't like fish, try this. You'll thank me later. What is weird is that uh, they changed the way they cut it. Before, they didn't cut it this way. Huh. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's my recommendation for today. Now, uh, the next thing I wanted to show you guys was in the engine bay. Remember how I went for the uh, cleanup of the engine bay? Well, 
we quickly Jesus Christ doing this with one hand is always challenge quickly went back to dirt now what I am concerned of is this this seems to me like it's leaking and not leaking from this point it's leaking all the way down there so I don't know probably gonna have to address this the next time I go for the old change because all of this is spreading all the way over there yes there is dirt but it is definitely mixed up with uh, some oil so that is a concern and also I will have to uh, swap out the uh, how is it brake fluid yeah so that is the concern and that is probably the next thing that will need to be fixed on this car but apart from that the car is doing extremely well can't complain